Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, I got a, a different type of construction update video for you today. This one's actually uh, on a bunch of road projects that are being worked on right now through uh, uh, in Murfreesboro that, uh, you know, instead of going to each and every individual spot, which would take forever, I figured I would just uh, announce them all right here from the comfort of my own home, actually in my kitchen at my dinner table. So, uh, but uh, got my little cheat sheet here going over all this because I simply can't remember all these. So, uh, but I'm gonna go over these because last week, um, uh, the city announced a $270 million, it's actually just over $270 million uh, initiative to uh, improve a lot of the roads here in Murfreesboro. So through, uh, and construction is going to go from now, 2020, up until 2023 on some of these projects. So um, some of these projects may be a little longer than others, but uh, we're going to get right to them here. So these are the ones that they announced. Uh, we got uh, Brinkley Road, which is simply going to be, uh, I'm going to paraphrase a lot of these for you from what they mentioned, so I'm just going to get to the nitty gritty. So uh, if you'd like to know more about these, simply comment on them and I'll respond uh, to this. So, uh, But uh, Brinkley Road is going to be uh, rebuilding to three lanes, uh, construction starting in 2021 next year. Uh, we got Cherry Lane, which is going to be done in, in two phases. They're going to build a five-lane road from the west side of Siegel Park to Sulphur Springs Road. Uh, that should be nice, nice five-lane highway or road over there. Uh, and part two is that part two is going to be done in two parts, uh, which is going to, they're going to build a five-lane road and interchange uh, to the east and west of 840 construction starting next year in 2021. We've got. Uh, the Gateway Boulevard extension, which they are going to build a three-lane road between Robert Rose, Dri uh, Robert Rose Drive and Gateway Boulevard. Uh, they're working on the design for the road now and how it's going to look and all that. The engineers are working on that and uh, construction starting in 2022. Uh, we've got uh, Jones Boulevard, which they're going to improve to a three-lane road uh, with a nice fancy sidewalk basically, uh, with, uh, you know, gutters and curbs and all that good stuff. Uh, work should start later this year. Um, We've got uh, Rucker Lane, which is going to be, uh, they're going to rebuild the road from 96 to Veterans Parkway to a three-lane road. It's roughly about two and a half miles long. Uh, they're going to have some sidewalks and construction will start later this year. Uh, we've got uh, Rutherford Boulevard Extension, which they're going to extend the road with three lanes uh, with a bridge over I-24 from Rutherford Boulevard to Warrior Drive. Uh, they're also going to make improvements to Rutledge Drive on the way. Uh, and construction will start way later down in 2023 so don't hold your breath for that one that one's probably coming last uh, but also they're going to do rutherford boulevard uh signal improvements they're going to put in those fancy traffic lights have you seen the ones that um adjust the lights to the amount of traffic coming through so if you got a whole lot of traffic coming through and it's prime time traffic they will adjust you know the green light red light schedule on their own uh if there's not much traffic or if there's more traffic coming one way than there is the other way you know they'll adjust on their own they measure that so it's a fancy signal technology that they're going to use. There's going to be 15 uh, lights that they're going to change uh, to use the the fancy lights, I call them. So, um, and then we got a Warrior Drive extension, which is they're going to complete a loop with Bessie Road, uh, including the intersection of Warrior Drive and New Salem Highway. Um, and then here's uh, two of them that I'm sure everybody out there can can uh, sympathize with me on this one and say they're kind of the bane of my existence when driving. We got New Salem Highway. Um, uh, when I have to drive down that side of town, it's doesn't matter. It seems it doesn't matter what time of day. It's always some kind of traffic jam or they're holding up over there with all the construction, everybody merging and all that sort of stuff. So, but uh, it looks like it's going to be done in several phases. Uh, obviously, they're already starting right now. Uh, as you've been over there, you've seen it. Uh, but they're going to uh, excuse me. They're going to rebuild about two two miles. Uh, for, of the highway from I-24 to Cason Lane. It's already under construction. Uh, we've got, uh, they're going to rebuild about uh, two and a half miles of the highway from Cason Lane to Veterans Parkway. Uh, they're going to make it five lanes with, again, fancy sidewalks. Uh, that construction is expected to start in 2023. Um, and then also going to rebuild, um, or excuse me, I already said that part. So uh, there's just a whole lot going over there at uh, New Salem. So just expect that construction to go on for quite a while. And then uh, one I am personally looking forward to, because I live over on this side of town, is the Thompson Lane widening. Thank you to the people who decided to do this finally. Because uh, Thompson Lane, if you get caught in traffic or school zone, good luck. Uh, but they are going to widen just over four miles of the road to create five lanes with, again, big fancy sidewalks. And uh, the construction will start, unfortunately, this is going to be one of the later ones, starting in 2023. So... Uh, but uh, that's uh, 
uh, some of the road construction that you can expect to see. Um, I know I hit those kind of quick. I didn't want to make the video super long. So if you have any questions or anything, put them in the comments and I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, but that's what the city announced last week. $270 million project. It's $270,500,000, if I remember correctly, is the amount of money they're pouring into the city to work on these roads. So um, I hope you all liked the video. Uh, if you like this one, I will continue to do more uh, road construction videos for you. Uh, just let me know in the comments, and there you go. So thanks for watching. You all have a great day.